Hello everyone, I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, we shall be solving a question on recurrence relation, how to solve that question using iteration method. This is the second example on iteration method. Let us see the question. This is a recurrence relation a n equals to a n minus 1 plus n square where n is greater or equal to 2 and a 1 equal to 1. This a1 equal to 1 is our initial condition. So let us see how to solve this recurrence relation. First of all consider the original recurrence relation that is given to us. Like we had done in our previous example, replace n by n minus 1. So what we will get is a n minus 1 equals to a n minus 2 plus n minus 1 the whole square. Now again you replace n by n minus 1 in this newest equation that we have got. So what you get is a n minus 2 equals to a n minus 3 plus n minus 2 the whole square. Now again you replace n by n minus 1 in this newest equation. So you get a n minus 3 equals to a n minus 4 plus n minus 3 the whole square and you go on doing it if you are comfortable with this many terms, it's okay. If you feel few more terms are to be written, it's okay. You can write few more terms. It's not a big harm. So I write so on. And then now we go for backward substitution. Let us see how. In this original equation of recurrence relation, you replace a n minus 1 by the recurrence relation that we got. So that a n minus 1 will be now written as a n minus 2 plus n minus 1 the whole square. So that is what I have written. But we also know the value of the recurrence relation for a n minus 2. That is a n minus 3 plus n minus 2 the whole square. So you replace a n minus 2 by that. Okay. So you do that. And then now for a n minus 3 we already got a n minus 4 plus n minus 3 the whole square. You replace that. Observe the pattern and ask yourself, can you see the pattern in this expression? If yes, try to write the pattern. Otherwise, you can go on substituting for a n minus 4 and so on. Okay. Now, here the pattern is clearly visible. Okay. So, the pattern here comes down to be a n is equals to a 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square plus and so on up to n minus 3 the whole square plus n minus 2 the whole square plus n minus 1 the whole square plus n square. Now what is a1? a1 is nothing but 1. So that is what I substitute. But that is 1 is same as 1 square. So what I observe over here in front of me is nothing but the sum of the square of the first n natural numbers which is given as n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Now this expression you should be familiar with. That is why I asked you to be strong with the prerequisites of algebra. Okay, so if you are not aware, you can jot down this formula that is sum of the squares of the first n natural number in the compact form is given in this manner. Okay, now coming back to the problem the nth term of the given recurrence relation is this compact form over here. Hence, we have solved our question which was by iteration method and we have got our final answer. Okay. So, now go through the entire problem once more. Okay. And now you can take this problems for your practice. If you have any difficulties, you can revert it to me back. And again, these are also in the similar manner that I have solved these examples. Okay, and you can ask me whatever difficulties are there in comment section. And I will revert to you as soon as possible. Till then, keep solving good amount of mathematics. Thank you.